Good morning. Day three. Let's go. My mom is here. Hello, mama. My mom brought over a yoga mat. Um, she also got me potato salad, which my grandma made. I'm so excited. I'm so happy to eat her cooking. And nasi lemak. All right, we have a lot of Losatan products, which is pretty cool. So, got Losatan body lotion. I smell really good. So my plan is to not watch any Netflix or read any books until day 7 or 8 just to trick my body into thinking that my quarantine's only 14 days I'm Hi. so sorry So clearly I was not expecting to see someone actually there um, but my friend Damien suggested that I get an HDMI cable from the reception and I had to sign a loan form Good morning! It is the start of day 4 and I just realized I did not bring a hairbrush or a comb um, So we'll see what my hair looks like at the end of the 21 days Here's my mom coming to visit me again Oh, she's texting me something My mom just dropped this off, we got fish soup And we got some California tamaki So it is 12.30 on day 4 And I've literally just sat on this couch and eaten Like that's the only two things I've done My friends Damien and Audrey just dropped this off. Look at this beautiful care package. Damien is literally lending me his switch and the switch dock. Oh my gosh. What? Oh my gosh. What? Fish. What in the world? This is so beautiful. My mom's third visit to me. Yay! Alright, I'm about to try the Chloe Ting challenge, jumping on board the train finally. Look at all my food in the background. This is why I've decided to do this today. So, let's hope I don't die. Chloe Ting needs to come with a warning. Oh my gosh. Okay, now that this butt cramp is over, I don't know if I want to continue the challenge. I think I'm just going to go to the ab exercises because I don't want that to happen again. Because also, I'm in isolation, like I'm in quarantine. What if something bad happens to me, right? Like, what if I actually sprain something and I die? Okay, not die. But if I sprain something, like, I can't fix it. So I need to be careful, right? Yes, right. All right, so overall, day one of working out was not very good. Um, we're going to try to ease into it next time. Um... If we even work out again. <laughs> Alright, I got my first call from the ICA. This is day 5. It's about 11am. Um, and they couldn't get me on my WhatsApp. Because uh, I think it was, there was a typo in the phone number. But they just called me via the hotel phone. Which I think makes more sense, honestly. Because I can't leave the hotel. So if I had a, a phone, I could be like, you know, wandering around. Which I wouldn't. But yeah, so they called the hotel room um and then i answered and then they were like oh just to verify that you are actually there i'm like yeah yeah so i kind of feel like a sim um i literally just stood and stared outside the window out here it's a nice view um stared out the window for 30 minutes so i just walked 5,000 steps around my room that was 140 I don't know if you guys can hear the construction, but yeah, that was that's been going on and off all day, and I haven't heard it before. I hope it doesn't continue. Wow, just look at my hair this morning. Day six, baby. Okay, so now that we're on day six, I feel like I'm starting to actually feel the drudgery and monotony of existing. <laughs> that was very dramatic. It's a rainy, blustery day in... Singapore and I am on day seven of my quarantine. Wow, this is crazy! A Nintendo Switch on the big TV. It is day nine and our sleep schedule is officially messed up. Um, I am really surprised that the hotel didn't call to check that I was not dead because, <laughs> but I'm glad they didn't. I'm glad they didn't because um, I was sleeping. Um, because both my breakfast and my lunch were out here, um, and it's two p.m. So <laughs> I just got a courtesy call. Um, so like every day they call and they're like, oh, how are you feeling? 
Um, and they always get so thrown off when I say, how are you, back to them. And they like laugh and they don't know what to say. And I'm like, <laughs> it's kind of sad that nobody asks them how they are. But, oh, another call. So my grandma made rendang and rice for me and my mom brought it over. Um, but I don't have a microwave. So I am MacGyvering the situation. So I was just woken up by the immigration people calling again. Um, but this time, this time it's exciting news. Um, it was to schedule my swab test for the 14th day. So it's gonna be on Friday um, at 9 a.m. Um, which is like two days from now. I slept at 3 a.m. clearly not functioning and they were also calling for a location check. They also sent me a WhatsApp link to like pay for the COVID swab in advance. So yes. Okay, so Singapore just released a statement that said that um, quarantine is going to be reduced from 21 days to 14 days because there's no evidence that the new variants have a longer incubation period. But um, I'm here. Hi, what do I do? Yes, oh my gosh. <laughs> you guys, I'm going to cry. Oh my gosh. So I just called the SHN um, hotline and they said that my checkout is now 14 days. I'm crying. <laughs> so this is the best news ever. Sorry, I took my glasses off because I was crying. Um, but yeah, I cannot believe it, that I can't leave on Saturday. So this is day 12 and I can't leave. Oh my god. I'm gonna start crying again, but I'm just so happy. Um, I get more one extra week with my family. I'm I'm just so happy, and they're gonna refund. Um, they said that the refund will be processed for in like two months. But and it was just an automated message that I listened to. I'm so like they they planned in advance. They were good. They recorded a message for everyone who's like currently on the quarantine notice. Um, yeah, so I'm I'm just over the moon. Also, awesome news, it is my second last day. I leave here in 48 hours and I am so excited. I even got the vaccine registration link. Uh, I've been trying to get the registration since like two weeks ago, like since I landed basically. Um, and they finally sent it to me and I just signed up. I'm so excited. I'm gonna get it like right after I check out. So hopefully it'll be fine. <laughs> So the swab was supposed to be at 9 a.m. and it was 8.50 when they came to get me so I was not exactly ready yet so the lady rang the doorbell and then she went to get someone else and so that's her waving yeah. me over. Okay, thank you. Oh my gosh, we're outside for the first time. Okay, thank you so much. Please tell me follow my colleagues. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Good morning. Good morning. I'm um, Roxanne. Yeah. really painful. <laughs> came with breakfast today and it's a checkout procedure this is so wholesome basically once i get the negative swab test i'll have to send it to the front desk and then they'll process my checkout 
So they just called me about the checkout procedures for tomorrow. Um, they asked if I needed any luggage assistance, and they also asked if I needed anyone to like flag a taxi for me, which is really nice. Um, so yeah, 10 out of 10, Regent. You've been awesome this whole time. So I just got my negative COVID results. Um, I actually didn't get a notification. I just checked myself on Health Hub um, and it's negative. So I sent it to the front desk, but you know, if you didn't get your COVID results yet, I would advise you to check Health Hub if you have a sing pass. Okay, so I sent in the results from Health Hub and they said, I have to wait because ICA has not written to them yet and IC is going to send them a list of people who are approved. <sighs> Bureaucracy. Hey, it is 9.48 a.m. on the day I'm supposed to check out and they just called me and they said that they received the results from the ICA and I can go home. Yes, as you can see, still not fully awake yet, but I'm really glad they gave me a time um, like you give me a choice and times to check out, so like 11.30 or 12.30, I said 12.30 because clearly not ready. Um, yeah, I'm so excited. What a day to be checking out. So I just want to give a shout out to the region and all the staff here because I know that things have been insanely busy over the last couple of days um, with, you know, the quarantine going from 21 days to 14 days and having to process all those people. And they've done a really great job, they've been nothing but, but courteous and nice, so... Yeah, thank you so much. Um, and a shout out to all the frontliners out there, hotel workers and airport staff. Y'all are amazing. And now if you want some tips for your quarantine, here they are. Um, so things I did not expect in the quarantine were the temperature. I mean, obviously you know that you're gonna be in a hotel room, but it's kind of like being in a spaceship because you know, the temperature is always the same. It's like artificial. Um, I wore a lot of leggings, so be prepared for that. Um, because like the windows don't open here and I think that's the case in a lot of hotel rooms. Um, the second thing is don't be afraid to um, ask a hotel reception if you need anything. For example, like I got the HDMI cable from the hotel so yeah they're always willing to help. Also ask your family and friends outside to bring you anything you need. I mean don't be afraid to ask for help. One thing that really helped me, I walked five to six thousand steps a day like average um my record was eight thousand but then i got bored but that's like 140 to 245 rounds around the room and what really helped me was being able to plug my music into the tv so i was like blasting the music from the tv while i was walking around and dancing around so that really helped if you're coming to singapore i hope this really helped you and feel free to hit me up if you're here um I mean, I don't know if I'm still going to be here because I have to go back to Manila. But yeah, and if you're just watching this for fun again, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. And I hope that you have an awesome summer. Bye.